Hey, the fuck is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for the support. Um, it, it's just like I learned so much off of you. Uh, being able to meet you, well, virtually meet you is a beautiful blessing just to know that our community is growing faster by the day and it's, it's truly a blessing when we can all learn off of each other through our experiences as well as our tragic situations so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching the videos for a while please uh, and you have not already please like and subscribe you can hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video also, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or if uh, or if you're about to tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and head you toward the positive direction. Also, if you feel like this video is just giving good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend that needs uh, spiritual guidance as well as uh, just confirmation and validation towards their life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated, and I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Uh, I mean, sorry. The background music I'm using today, I love this because it has boot on the, uh, the thumbnail. Um, it's called 528 Hertz Tranquility Music of Self-Healing Mindfulness. Find yourself uh, light music for the soul. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is uh, Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, not only did you endure the storm, you grew into the storm. Know that you are evolving in many ways. And you are, you know, there's a lot of times we can be going through things. And it's just universe is really, you know, want me to stay on this, you know, this new chapter. There's things that you, that are coming towards your way when it's coming from your ancestors or your spirit guides or, you know, or, shh, shh, shh. Uh, or, you know, just different things along our way that is teaching us, molding us, and it's like taking us to our higher selves and allowing us to be able to embrace our gifts as well as ascending to our higher, you know, our higher self. You know, it's a lot of times we can be going through life and, you know, we don't give ourselves the, you know, the, the, basically the recognition we deserve because there's a lot of times we see things but we're really not seeing them the way they are a lot of times you really feel like you know things aren't changing in your life but it's all about the viewpoints that you pay attention to you know if you're so focused on you know there's signs coming to you but you are so focused on the negative stuff that's going on in your life you have to be able to understand a lot of times we are placed in those negative situations not for us to change the situation but allow us to be able to be changed by that you know um i'm you know it's like with my situation i hate going through mine but it's just like a blessing beyond all measures because um a lot of times we can make things harder than what they are you know sometimes you know they'll have somebody that will try to trigger us and it, it's just like we have to learn a lot of times we don't have to have a response that can be a response there's no response at all you know uh, are we going to get back at the people that you know try to hurt us or you know place harm on us or are we going to allow that just to go and allow them to be able to reflect on themselves a lot of times we have to just you know be that bigger person don't allow somebody to pull you into the storm you need to be able to pull people in your peace you know we've been placed in storms and it's like we are able to uh you know just be able to stand in that storm and it's just a lot of times we get placed in that just to be able to test our strength our faith um our patience our knowledge you know there's so many things that occur in our lives can be really tragic but those tragic situations can bring on a lot of blessings you know like i tell y'all being able to you know help people along the way that you know need that guidance need reassurance let them know they're doing a good job you know give yourself what you're worth you are worthy of any blessings that are coming your way there's sometimes we have been in such a toxic or you know abusive situation that you know when blessings come our way and they're like no strings attached it's just because universe allowed us to be able to get they want to gift that to us 
you know, you might feel like, oh, this is not for me, or there's a hidden motive behind it. And it was always not, it's not always like that. But if it's, it's just like when you have dirt so much, you know, and it's how you look at it. I, I mean, there's days where I felt like God and universe was just punishing me, but it was just the fact is I didn't, you know, when you ask for God to allow you to see the people that are in your life that are not supposed to be there, uh, give you that, that sense of sight when you're not seeing the things you need to see, you know, and then when we ask for that and they're allowing us to see the people that we need to part ways with, um, the people we need to walk away from, it could be an addiction that you're going through. You may be smoking cigarettes or on drugs or just having negative thought patterns, how you present, you know, how you reflect on yourself as well as you reflect on others. Uh, what do you take in and, you know, how you respond to it it's like all those different things occur that you know we needed to learn at that very instant you know there's a lot of times we go through tragic situations and trying to figure out why we had to go through this this is so hard you know but it's all about how we look at this journey you know this journey is never set up here and said we're going to be easy <laughs> it is not you know you're going to take it for what has worked on so many different levels you know you're educating yourself you're soaking everything in like a sponge you're pushing out knowledge as well as you're receiving it um, giving love to others it's like giving love to strangers you know it's like we're we're in a community where I tell people there's no judgment here you know we're all living and learning and trying to evolve knowing that we all can respond I mean uh, connecting in a lot of ways you know a lot of us are going through the same things we meditate we get answers from there um, our ancient ones gives us power to allow, you know, give us that energy to be able to see the power that's instilled in you that has been dormant for so long. They, they switch on so many different, you know, switches. It's like a lot of us are like the member of the 144,000. So there's a lot of people who are going through different things. There's things heading towards our way, but it's allowing us to be that super uber you know uh empath being able to know that all the stuff that we have into us how we can be able to impact our lives as well as other people you know sometimes we need that friendly reminder you know you're yes you're in human form but you're actually a spiritual being being in a human experience so you have to go through those different things in life to allow you to see what you know god's trying to teach you the universe is trying to help you learn you know there's times when we really want things in life but we have to go through a series of trials and tribulations to be able to achieve that you know if it was just handed to us what would you actually learn there's a lot of times we get upset because we don't get things on our time it's never going to be on our time you know when divine and universe creator source when they see that okay they mature they are learning they're forgiving they're loving you know there's a lot of times we we still cast blame on people that have really hurt us you know it really took me a long time you know and there's certain things I had to go deep in the court you know I had to look at things today by the bottom of the layer you know where you know I still have that you know emotional trigger of me being abandoned by you know my my adopted father my mom's ex-husband that hurt like hell you know knowing that you know the person it, it, if you're a girl and you know you have a father figure in your life you always look at the father or your father figure as protection you know somebody who's supposed to watch over you um this supposed to give you guidance allow you to know what a man of his stature is supposed to treat you like you know what you should accept and what you should not accept yeah she just got the shower baby so it's just a lot of things i had to go through i had to really see it for what it what, what it was worth so it's just like i felt like i've been healed from certain situations but you know source and universe had me go a little bit deeper and you know when when you're going towards those blessings they need you to be you have to clear your slate clean you know you can't harbor anger you know, confusion, anger, because that can mess you up along the way of the things that you're trying to ch achieve. It can, you know, sabotage you and it's self sabotage. So, you know, there's a lot of layers I had to go through, and, you know, and I had to make peace with that. You know, I had to tell the universe I was upset. You know, I was abandoned right when I needed a father of mo it, most. And, you know, it angered me to a point where if you didn't want to be my, my father, but the real father that wanted to be in my life, you wouldn't allow him to be there either. So that was like a hard pill for me to have to swallow. But everything happens for a certain reason. You know, my dad, my, my biological father was there when he could. You know, my mom blessed me with the fact is when my her husband wasn't home, he will she would allow, you know, she would tell 
my dad, you know, hey, you can call around these certain times when he's not home because while he's home, it's going to be an issue if you call while he's here. So, you know, God allowed that for me to be able to come and play with my life. There's a lot of, you know, there's some conversations I don't remember, but there's also some that I hold dear to my heart. And, you know, there's a lot of things that went on in my life that, you know, I'm still taking day by day. It's day process. You know, nobody it has a perfect life. You know, nobody has that perfect thing. You know, I don't try to make it seem like everything's perfect because I'm learning as you learn. You know, I'm learning off of my mistakes and, you know, universe is allowing me to do this so I can put it on a platform to help other people that are going, that struggle to get through the things yourself. You know, there's a lot of things that we are still healing from that could have happened in our childhood or, you know, going towards, you know, early adolescence to teenager towards our adult years because things can happen in our childhood can really mess us up in our adult years. You know, there, there's, there's things that I'm still you know, I've exposed my daughters a lot to that I wish I didn't. Those are the only things that I wish I didn't allow them to see. You know, I know they tell you, you shouldn't go back and wish that you, you can change certain things because everything happened the way it was. Because there's a lot of things that I did not want my children to see me go through. You know, it's scared of pattern that they might endure something like this going down the line. And, you know, my children, you know, have went through some really toxic situations that I'm desperately trying to correct right now. Because it's like the fact is I don't have you know, um, that communication with my family like that. So it's just like with me going through that, I know how that feels when you need that, that guidance in your life. And I have to be able to be, you know, my mother and my father at the same time, you know, even though my biological father is always there, you know, I appreciate every time he's able to give me that uplift in life, that knowledge, to let me know, Hey, I'm here. You know, I wish I could be there more you know i wish i was there more you know he he really held guilt and i had to keep on telling him you know this is not your fault you know you wanted to be in my life people all to orchestrated my life to a certain sense they didn't want you in it so a lot of time my dad held guilt for that and i think sometimes he still does you know even though he's in his passing and stuff like that you know um you know when people don't have they have unfinished business they allow them to connect with the people that they're trying to make things right with you know now I, I don't hold any anger against my mom my biological mom nor my father you know they were young when they had me so I know those things happen you know I had my daughter around the same time you know my mom had me so I knew what the stress is I had to be able to go through it myself to be able to understand what kind of mentality at that point you're scared you know I had my daughter first daughter at 10 I mean not 10 oh gosh 16 I don't know why I said 10 for but 16 oh y'all looking at my my um, laptop it says uh windows 10 but you know going through all those different things it was like I had to grow up very early you know um being able to endure that and being a teen mom at 16 was really hard but it was like I did that because I felt like I wasn't loved. So I wanted to bring something into life, you know, bring someone into a world that would love me the way I wanted to be loved. And, you know, I don't wish anything on, you know, wish I didn't have my children or anything like that. I just wish I could have brought them up in a better environment, you know. So it's just a lot of things that I'm learning off of, I'm growing off of. You know, my children tell me, Mom, you're not the same person, you know, because I used to, I didn't want to put my hands on them because I knew what that meant. You know, I, I had to go through getting beat, you know, bad with certain things I didn't want to really get into. But, you know, I didn't want to place that on my children. You know, I was, you know, traumatized by certain punishments that I got um, that I did not want to unleash on my kids. So, you know, there's a lot of things that I'm trying to help them heal with you know, come to terms with, you know, that wasn't really easy to still kind of impacts them in a negative way. So I just want to be open for that pack to help them. You know, I don't have that, that incident, you know, it's just a blessing that, you know, I can call upon my dad and just have those talks that, you know, I always wanted to have with him. And, you know, that's a blessing that God allowed me to be able to do that, you know, for us to be able to have that connection like that. Cause we always had a very strong connection. I just never knew why we had that strong connection because the way I did think about it you know my family wouldn't admit to it so it's just like being able to go through all these different things and being able to put it on a platform for videos to be able to help people understand why we go through the things we go through why we have to endure so much pain you know what we're actually going through yes baby yeah you're sleepy trying to fight sleep but yeah going through all these different things it was tragic but it has brought brought by a lot of uh blessings that i've endured for myself Shh. so uh being able to go through this and being able to know that i can 
you know, set an example for others to let you know, you know, yeah, we go through traumatizing things. You might, you know, currently go into storms left and right, but just know that you, God is going to make sure, God, universe is going to see fit that when you go through these things, you're not going to be the same person that went into the storm. And it's just like, you're going to be able to have the storm work for you. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. Just drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate so I can give you a post notification shout out. And I want to give uh, uh, big ups to uh, Bizelle. Much love to you. Welcome to the fam. You know, you've been dropping me some comments lately. I didn't give a chance to get you a shout out yet. So much love to you. I hope all is well. Um, like and subscribe, hit the thumbnail, share, you know, tell some, some people about my channel. I would love to be able to uh, have more people here, the more the merrier. And, you know, share, thumbs up, what else? Hit the bell, subscribe, and I will see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. I love you from the thought of my heart, and I hope you have uh, as many blessings that, you know, you deserve. Shh. And <laughs> I will see y'all in my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.